Hello, hello, crafty peeps. Welcome back to my channel, Crafty-ish Kristen. If you are new here, welcome. If you are returning, thanks for coming back. Today, we are going to have ourselves a little whip and chatty rant time. What is a whip and chatty rant? You may be asking yourself. Whip, W-I-P, stands for work in progress. And a chatty rant is me chatting and ranting about the goings-on in my life over the past week or so. My current whip is Trinity of Peace. Whoa, that's really zoomed. Uh, this is a Diamond Art Club. It is 50.8 50 centimeters by 50.8 centimeters. I am about right here by the lamb. I will put a little picture up right here to show where I am, uh, how much I have finished. Um, and we will go ahead and get started. I hope everybody is having an amazing day. And if it's not amazing, I hope it gets more amazing for you. All right, I am not gonna be able to do a ginormous section. I don't know what I'm thinking. Uh, I'm going for light colors because there are some really dark colors in this painting um, and they're hard to see without my light pad. I'm not sure if it's the canvas or just the fact that I'm old, um, <laughs> but yeah. So, a little quick recap while I move some of my stuff around. I still have the giveaway open for the Pippi the Crafty Peep release papers. Um, it is in my last whip and chatty rant. And there is a, a word that I say, and you have to use the word in a sentence. And then after the 18th, I think I said, I will do a, oh yeah, that is way too much empty sticky spot. What am I thinking? Uh, after the 18th, then I will do a, a random comment picker and pick two, maybe three people who will receive their very own copy of these cute release papers. If you are impatient and you don't want to wait for the giveaway and you would like to support a small business, then I will have a link below to Bee's Crafty Corner, who I got these papers from. And if you order the custom release papers, and I will have the link down below, and you get to choose like all the, you know, the sizes and all that stuff. Um, if you just put into the comments, not the comment section, <laughs> the, um, what do you call it? Send her a message or, you know, added a personalization type thing and say that you want the Pippi papers and she has them on file and you can order your own set if you so choose to do. And I really like, that is, look at that. That is not very much of that color left after that much in my tray. Yeesh. All right, you say so. I'm always paranoid I'm gonna run out of colors. Uh, anyways, she has the design saved and you can order it in, she has three different sizes of release paper. She has, um, what, I have it written down right here. Four by three, five by four, or five by eight. The ones I purchased and will be giving away, that was not graceful, are the uh, five by four. And you can order them glossy or not glossy. And you can order them in packs of, I think, 6, 12, 24, and 48. So that is, oh my gosh, why am I, why am I struggling? Oh, because it's Monday. <laughs> it's Monday for me. It'll probably, well, it'll at least be Wednesday for you by the time I upload this. Oof. Uh, so that is the pepper, 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 pippy papers. Say that five times fast. Um, so far, I am really, really loving the quality. I think I like the glossy ones better. The colors are a little bit brighter. And since I am a bright color person, uh, that is what I am gravitating towards. But, but, okay, so she also has a Facebook group. And she posted a pic some pictures of some holographic, 
like sparkly paper that she's getting in that she's gonna be doing release papers with and I was like oh my gosh ugh, I'm in danger I'm in danger guys um, so yes the giveaway the last chance to leave a comment on the last whip and chatty rant is Monday March 18th 2024 um, I said midnight Pacific Standard Time, but I'm not going to be up at that time of night. So, you know, if it's a little bit after, nobody will know. And I will have a video going up on Friday. I did a stash video. I figured it was only fitting since this is like kind of my one year diamond painting anniversary to see what I have accumulated in one year. And uh, shocking, it was not as much as I thought I had. Of course, I have finished some diamond paintings, so maybe that's why I feel like I had more than I really did. Um, I did actually order some stuff this weekend. Uh, yeah, but that's okay. It's my birthday this month. I'm allowed to purchase things, right? That's what I'm telling myself anyways. And I did finish Layers of Ocean Magic from Calming Canvas Designs. It came out so much better than I anticipated it would. I was a little nervous because the picture has a lot of detail. And I only got, I think it's 50 by 60 or 45 by 60. So I was a little worried because sometimes, you know, these bigger, more detail laden pieces, like you really got to go bigger. But I don't want to go bigger because I don't find myself doing the big diamond paintings that I already own. Uh, so I will put a picture somewhere over there. Oh, uh, of the finished result. Probably will be a few weeks until I realistically have a kidding down video for that. Because I've got some other stuff scheduled already. I have an unboxing from Pam Diamond Paintings next week and then I decided to kit that one up because I still don't have a replacement canvas from Bella Art Diamonds for the one that was not sticky. Um, so I was going to work on that today but since I haven't unboxed it I decided I would wait and it does have acrylic drills and I, I, okay so and I'm not throwing shade at the company by any means, just throwing that on here now. But I don't really know if I have ever done anything with acrylic drills. So maybe acrylic drills are just kind of not as, I don't know, what's the word I'm looking for? Not as like reliable, dependable, or consistent as the resin drills. Uh, I don't know. So I'm, I'm going into it with an open mind. So they are, they are fitting together and they are, you know, lining up, but I do feel like there are definitely some, some tabbier ones, especially where there's like a, oh, cat, don't be doing that. Um, kind of like there's like a little ghosty outline of the drill, if that makes sense. Um, yeah, so I've only done a very small, like, not even a full release paper section, so I'm going to hold off and, you know, maybe it's just a learning curve on my part, uh, because the only other acrylic drills that I've had is, uh, the Crafties and those were, those were atrocious. Those were not lining up. These ones are at least lining up. So again, maybe it's me and maybe I've just been spoiled by all of the high class, high class, high quality, you know, resin, etc., etc. Oh, some of these barely have any in here. It is so crazy to me. But the good thing about the premium companies that if you do run out, they will send you more. If you're the original owner, obviously. If you do it on a D stash, I don't think that they will send you more you know I get because then people would just say oh yeah I got this from some a friend and I ran out of this color but you know what if it was just they were just trying to you know fill up the diamonds for like a conversion project or something 
So that would be dishonest. That would be abusing the system. So I thought about doing that once and I was like, no, that is not honest. Don't be like that. That's some bad mojo right there. I do not need any bad mojo. No siree. Let's see, so we did that. What else? Oh, and so my, the kidding up video that I will be posting for the Pam Diamond painting. Um, I have a, I have a special guest. Uh, I was in a little bit of a time crunch because I wanted to get this video filmed before somebody was coming to measure our doors because we need a new front door and back door because they're from the like 60s and they're not very energy efficient. Um, and so I, I kind of, I didn't force my husband to help me, but I was like, come on, you can help me. And so he, he made his official appearance on the, on the channel, but I didn't realize until the video was over that he was not sitting as close to my phone as I was. So I sound, you know, perfectly clear and squeaky and he's a little bit muffled and his voice is kind of lower anyways. So yeah, I'm hoping, I mean, I, I could hear him, but yeah. So you guys will have to, have to let me know. And, oh my gosh, almost forgot. Uh, you will have noticed that I put music on my intro. What? I know. Big, big, big awkward hug shout out to Elisa, the diamond stitcher, which if you do not follow her on YouTube, you should. And she has her own Facebook page. And it's the DAC Fans Canada page. Uh, she <laughs> she kind of sent me a little video showing me what exactly I needed to do. And I finally, finally figured out like, okay. So I had, my husband actually made me some music in, um, what's the Apple program? GarageBand? He just was kind of messing around with some of the different musics and made a little intro song so I don't get, you know, copyright striked from anybody and yeah so i hope you like it and if you don't then fast forward through because <laughs> it was kind of a pain all right let's see let's get this one up here so i have been procrastinating on this one but i really do want to get it done so there is that move that paper away from the sticky. We don't need to be getting paper stuck to the canvas. There we go. Okay, what color are we going to do? Um, what can I see is the question. Let's do that little star. Yeah, I was, uh, I was actually in really interested to see what was in the closet uh, in my stash because I don't go rummaging through the closet very often uh, because, you know, usually like, you know, the newest thing you buy you want to work on. So, yeah. Uh, but there was definitely some stuff where I was like, oh, no, I really don't know if I want to work on this at all. And, you know, a nice art of diamond painting. It was a year ago. And I think Diamond Art Club... I feel like they weren't doing the, you know, nine, 10 releases every week thing. And a lot of the stuff that I wanted was not in stock. And so I kind of just ordered stuff and, you know, you don't know what you like to diamond paint because you really haven't diamond painted much. And then, you know, I ordered from Diamond Art Club, Dreamer Designs and Crafties. And I definitely learned some things about, you know, what I like to diamond paint, what, mm, you know, I don't. And so I do have a few, I think I have at least five that honestly I could part with and not, not bat an eye. There are some other ones that I probably could part with and be totally fine with as well. Um, but it just takes effort and I don't want to put forth effort. I mean, it's just a lot of other things I want to do, things that I need to do. Let's see. So my son has to have minor surgery next week. Um, so 
love it if people kept him in your your thoughts and prayers it's nothing like you know it's nothing bad he doesn't want me talking about it so i'm just gonna throw it out there like whoa and throw my pen um he's a little freaked out you know i mean he's never had surgery so and while it's not you know like major surgery you know any kind of thing where you have to go to the hospital and check in and get an IV is yeah it's a little freaky freaky and as a parent it's scary too because you know your baby is having something done so but I do have videos pretty much planned and and scheduled so I'm just I'm more worried about him missing school because We've had such a hard time with some of his subjects and staying on top of them, and then missing, you know, two days of school before the weekend. And then the, the two days before the surgery, they're doing the, not the PSATs, the pre, the PACTs. I don't even know what it is, guys. But it's just like, the, like the, the, like the, what do you call it? The ones like the, the practice ones. Um, so that's the first two days like the two days before the surgery. And then of course, then they're gonna be rushing to catch up on all the, the stuff that they missed. And I'm like, oh geez, so it will be fine. He has some really, really, really great teachers. And I'm so, I'm so grateful because we've had, definitely had some, some learning curves with high school. And I can tell that, you know, for the most part, everybody wants him to succeed, which is what you want in a teacher, right? We all had, I think we all probably had teachers that, you know, we, we really liked and we gravitated towards. And then there was probably one or two where we're like, eh, no. Why is my husband back home? That is not good. I mean, I'm not doing anything bad, but I bet he forgot his badge. Let's see what he says. Here we go. What'd you forget? ID. Your ID badge. Told ya. <laughs> Swear, he has the worst luck when it comes to remembering his badge. <laughs> but we're not gonna say anything, okay? It's our secret. Oop, there's a blue in there. Look at that. Okay. Let's see, where is my, I need a pen. I gotta write stuff down before I forget it. Okay, so I keep getting ads on Facebook, right? And normally I just, you know, scroll past whatever. But these are kind of creeping me out. Um, I keep getting ads for products and it says also friends and groups that I should join and that is hang on Let's... oh no you got all the way there yep. <laughs> bye. bye again <laughs> oh, luckily we only live like 10 minutes away but still um okay so i keep getting these ads and and first of all if if this is something that you like um you know or or have purchased or you know are into like I'm not throwing shade but it creeps me out a little bit just because I keep like the the marketing is really aggressive and it is for silicone babies like silicone baby dolls that literally look like real babies and at first I was like why do I keep getting all these pictures of babies in my feed and then I realized that it was like they were dolls that looked like like babies and you know and it granted they could just be real pictures of real babies and people are holding them and making it seem like these but I'm gonna put some pictures in the corner because some of these uh, I don't know guys it's like some people with clowns right they're like ooh, kind of how I'm feeling right now and it just I keep clicking on it like no thank you this is not for me and then more keep coming up and you know, I don't, I don't quite know the exact purpose of, of the the silicone babies, or having a, a silicone baby like, and having like your pets sniffing it. I, I, again, I don't know. I'm not throwing shade. 
Nobody like get mad at me because I'm being judgmental. I'm honestly, I'm honestly curious. Um, but <laughs> then a lot of them have like their advertising and I haven't actually clicked on them because I'm afraid if I click on any of them, then I'm going to get even more ads because Facebook does that, man. I clicked on like one like cross necklace and now it's christianjewelry.com and all this other stuff. So I try not to click on the Facebook ads. So the, the, um, a lot of these pages for, they have misspelled words. And I'm like, okay, if you're, if, if the name of your, you know, your Facebook page or your business or whatever has, you know, basic words that are misspelled, like that is not going to encourage me to spend money at your website. I'm just saying, you know, we always like, I think at least I know, like if I go on Amazon, right. And I'm looking for, I don't know, let's say a speaker for my house. And, you know, there's all these companies that, you know, you've never heard of. And, you know, they're all have the same, what do you call it? Like the stock pictures, same on AliExpress, right? Like you go to look for, for drills and four different stores have the exact same stock pictures for, you know, ABs or glimmer drills or whatever. So you can't really know if that's what they have or they're just using a picture. Um, but if I see a bunch of misspelled words and things like that, that kind of throws up a red flag to me because that means somebody didn't, you know, spell check or something. And so it makes me hesitant to spend my money. You know, I just, little things like that can sometimes make, you know, make or break a sale. I mean, I understand the grammar because if it is, you know, a company that, you know, English is not the first language, then the grammar could, you know, be a little bit off, you know, which is different. But like when you, when you're misspelling the word baby or silicone, and that is the item that you're selling, I don't know. I'm not going to be purchased a silicone baby from anywhere. And I think I need to stop saying the word silicone baby because yeah, they just, I don't know. They're a little too lifelike. And then, you know, then what if like, okay, you're like, yes, I really want this highly detailed silicone baby. And when you get it, it looks like the dollar store version of a, you know, silicone baby. That would be my fear is I want this super detailed, you know, high quality thing. And I'm getting like, you know, the, the Walmart best value brand instead of the, you know, Gucci baby. I want the Gucci baby if I'm going to get one. Not that I own anything Gucci, but I gotta take a drink of Dr. Pepper. Okay. What color is next? I keep taking this off so I can make sure I'm not skipping. Okay, I know. Okay, good. That's not an AB. I had to reload my AB pen with new glue dots, and I have a feeling that these glue dots are gonna be way too sticky and rip off all the AB coating. So I'm kind of putting it off, honestly. Uh -huh. Okay, I don't know what, that's a number three. All right, we got number three right here. Oh, I had two instances this week, two, where my almost anxiety about being late kind of like bit me in the butt. <laughs> So the first one was on Friday and I usually leave to pick up from school at a certain time, but I knew I wanted to go to Ulta and go to the grocery store and then I was going to pick up pizzas from Papa Murphy's. So, you know, I'm doing the backwards math, right? Like, okay, it's going to take me X amount of time to get from here to there and it might take me between this amount of time and this amount of time at this store. And then if I have to wait in line at the pharmacy and then, you know, the pizza's not ready, like blah, blah, blah. So of course I always give myself way too much time. So I went to Ulta and I was kind of glad I had given myself some extra time because there was absolutely no parking in this parking lot. And the only things in this parking lot are Ulta. There's like a little bookstore, uh, like a mortgage place, a party store that never has anybody in it. 
uh, a Marshalls, Home Goods, and like a famous footwear. But the parking lot was just too full, right? Like, I'm like, what the heck? So I had to park at the other end of the shopping area, like way past the Marshalls and Home Goods. I didn't even know the parking lot went that deep. So I was a little like, grr, you know, because I didn't want to walk that far because it was kind of cold outside and I'm lazy, fully admit it. And so, you know, I walk into Ulta and I'm like, oh, I'm all hot and bothered because I'm all like, grr. And so I get my stuff and I go to, up to the, the front and, you know, we always have like so many Ulta points and that's not me bragging. It's just, I get my hair done at Ulta. My mom gets her hair done at Ulta. We buy all of our shampoo and all that. And then I just kind of forget about the points. And so she was like, oh my gosh, you have a lot of points. And I'm like, yeah. And she's like, you want to use some of them? I'm like, you might as well. And so I got like extra birthday points. And then I got like a an extra like a birthday gift which was like a little thing of moisturizer and you know and I'm like why dear there's so many people here like why is the parking lot full and she's like well we were really busy earlier I'm like not that busy there's no way that many people could however many cars were in that parking lot could fit in your in your store no 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 but it was fine so then I went to Safeway and so I'm you know supermarket supermarket sweeping my shopping, right? Like, cause I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be late. I'm gonna be late. I'm not gonna be late. And I know that I'm not gonna be late, but my brain is like, nope, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. So I'm, you know, in the line at the pharmacy, like, come on, come on, come on. I, I, I hate that, I hate that my brain works that way. I really do. So I do that and then I'm like, oh, it's $5. It's not $5 Friday, but it's like Friday love or something. And so it's Starbucks, so you can get a, you know, like a certain size drink and a, and a treat for, you know, like five or six dollars. Well, no, it's not five anymore. They, they change that because everything's expensive now. Uh, I think it was like a venti drink and a treat for seven dollars, which is not bad considering like, you know, I have to get almond milk and blah, blah, blah. So I got myself a drink and I went to the, the pizza place and of course the pizza was ready. And so I get in my car and I get to the school parking lot and I'm like, yeah, no, I got time. <laughs> like that, I don't know why I, I don't know why I sit there and think that I'm gonna be late. I know I'm not gonna be late. Um, so then, you know, that's usually when I end up uh, answering comments or, you know, like getting on the Facebook page. Ooh, I'm twisted, sorry guys. Um, it's usually when I'm sitting in my car waiting for children to be done with school or, you know, whatever's. Um, so I'm sitting there and it's like, I don't know, 2.45. And my son texts me, I have to stay after and work on something for yearbook. So come pick me up at 3.30. I'm like, mm. I'm like, no, I am already in the dang parking lot. Cause if you don't park early, you don't get a good spot. And then you're, you know, trapped in the, the terrifying flow of teenagers and impatient parents parking. And it's, it's, it's scary. And it's a small school too, so. I can't even imagine what like an actual high school high school looks like so i was like okay fine just whatever just come let me know when you're done so he was done at like 3 23. <laughs> so i had some time so i was watching some some videos and you know answering some comments and engaging in conversation but still then i'm like why do i why do I sit there and think that I'm going to be late? And if I am late, like nothing is going to happen. Um, I, I feel like I was, it was just ingrained into my brain from an early age that if you are late, like you're letting everybody down, that you're a failure. And no one's ever told me that I've let them down or I'm a, that I'm a failure. I, I don't, I don't know where it came from. I really don't. So both my parents were always prompt and my dad was one of those that if you're not 10 minutes late early, then you are late. So I've always, I've always just been like that. Even as a teenager, I would be super, super early places and people would be like, why are you here so early? And I'd be like, I don't know. That's just what you're supposed to do, right? So, yep. Of course I forgot some threes because I can't see very well. <clears throat> so then my promptness bit me in the butt again on Saturday morning. <laughs> And I, I looked Friday night, I looked at the, like the email because our, 
our church does a men's and women's breakfast once a month. And the men's breakfast is at like 7 to 8.30. And then I never can remember what time the women's breakfast starts. And in my brain, even though I read that it started at 9.30, my brain read that it started at 9. And I don't know why, but it did. And so all morning, you know, I get up and I'm like drinking my coffee and I'm like, oh my gosh, I gotta get going, gotta get going, gotta get going. And so I'm, you know, rushing, getting ready, go out the door. You know, we have like a, like a, you know, like a front door camera. And so, you know, it dings when you come in and out of the front door. And so I get in the car and I start driving and my husband texts me and he goes, where are you going? And he's at the men's breakfast, right? Or he's finishing up or he's done, but he's probably still standing there talking. And I was like, uh, duh, same place you are, the breakfast. And I like look at the clock and I'm like, it's, it's, uh, it's 840. Like that is not that, like for me, that's actually running late because it takes, you know, 10 minutes, maybe 15 if there's an accident on the freeway. And then I sat there and I'm like, wait a second. That's why I texted him back and I went, I'm early, aren't I? <laughs> and he's like, yeah. Oh, just a little. So I got to the church right at nine o'clock. Um, or no, actually it was almost like 8.50. And uh, yeah, it didn't start till 9.30. So that's, that's, just, that's just how I roll, I guess. It's ingrained in my brain. But luckily my friend was there. So we, we started chatting and then she dropped her wedding ring down the side of her seat because she was trying to put on lotion. And so then we had like a little search and rescue party, um, but it got found. That's the important part. Uh, but yeah, so we had, we had breakfast and people chatted and all the stuff. And then I came home and showered because I was like, I probably should have showered last night, but I didn't. So I decided it was time to shower kids working on school stuff. Husband had to go to work. I was like, you know what? I'm gonna do me some diamond painting. And so I did. And it was glorious. Absolutely glorious. And we had leftover pizza for from the night before. And so huh, guess what was for dinner, which meant I didn't have to cook, which is even better. love to know if anyone else is like me in the mindset of like when it comes to birthdays um so my my birthday is at the end of the month um which <laughs> is funny because it's the day before easter and so our whole my whole birthday day is going to be taken up by like church stuff which is fine uh but I, I'm like, I don't, I don't want people to, I don't want people to make a fuss, right? Because I don't like being the center of attention. I don't like drawing attention to myself. Um, so I, I, I want people to ignore me, but at the same time, like, I want to be acknowledged. <laughs> Which is like, I know it contradicts, you know, everything. Because like, I, leave me alone, but pay attention to me. It's like, you know, I want... I want the attention when I want it. I don't want it to be like surprise attention, I guess, is my, is how maybe I'm thinking about it. Like uh, our investment people, like company, they used to always call on your birthday and everybody in the office would sing you happy birthday. That is horrifying to me. Like do not call me. Like, number one, I barely know you people. Um, and please don't call me and wish me a happy birthday and have like a bunch of people singing. That is just, uh, no. That's a little creepy in my opinion. No offense if you like to do that to people, but for me, I'm not going to enjoy that. <laughs> um, oh, I forgot a star right there. What am I doing? I'm like, I don't even know what symbol I'm doing. I 
did that the other day. I literally, I did this whole section and then I'm like, I am doing the wrong color, but it was like a blue and then a very similar blue. And I was like, we're just gonna leave it because it's not worth the effort. But yes, now I want, I want attention, but I don't want attention. It's very complicated. And of course it makes it complicated for my family because they're like, what do you want? And I'm like, I don't know. It's like, you know, obviously am I, you know, I'd love for everyone to get along and not fight for the day and to not have to cook or do any adulty tasks. Like that would be my dream. Uh, but my reality on my birthday is probably going to be, hopefully maybe I can sleep in. That would be nice. Like I don't want to go to breakfast on my birthday. Oh my gosh, no. Breakfast is like, I don't know. I feel like breakfast is one of the most, oh my gosh, I just tipped. You guys didn't see that, so it didn't happen. But I did just tip that all over my, my lap. Um, I don't know. I, I like going out to breakfast, but like I don't because I feel like it's, I feel like you just get ripped off because <laughs> I don't eat that much breakfast food. So for how much it costs, I don't feel like it's worth it. Like a cup of coffee should not be, you know, three plus dollars at a restaurant because I don't, I, I ain't going to enjoy your coffee that much. So I will just have nothing. <laughs> I have a, I have a diamond stuck to my hand. Ooh, now I have a piece of blonde hair stuck over there. Uh, so yes, I would love to sleep in. And then our church is doing several Easter services on Saturday and then several on Sunday for Easter. And we will be going to the first Saturday one, which I think, I don't know, it's like at one o'clock or something. And my daughter is super excited to, you know, get to participate in the, the Easter festivities. And my son is actually going to be helping put out the eggs for the, the egg, what do they call it, not the egg. It's not a hunt because they put out, they put out like thousands of eggs. I think they call it egg fest or the egg race or, or something like that. I can't think of what it is. Uh, so he's going to be helping. So that's exciting. Um, so I'm going to be spending my birthday in a crowded place uh, with a bunch of sugared up children. <laughs> it's like, that does not sound like a relaxing birthday to me, but it's fine. I, I feel like adults don't really get to have like birthday expectations. <laughs> like I've never had a surprise party. That would that would fill me with so much anxiety and dread. I don't think I would be able to even walk in. Like if I walked into a room and everybody yelled surprise, I'd be like, oh, hell no, I'm leaving. I'm out of here. Nope, 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 nope. But again, I don't know if that's what I would do because I've never, I've never had one and I, I really don't need one. So that is not like a secret hint to anybody in my family. I think only my husband may watch these videos, honestly, but it is not a hint. He knows me well enough to <laughs> know what to do and what not to do in certain instances. If somebody asked him, hey, can I get a list so Kristen can have a surprise party? He'd be like, no, <laughs> like I am not going to take the fall for that. Absolutely not. Oh, just realized I was touching my, touching my head to the camera. That's not good. Hopefully you just didn't get like a giant head full of, of wet hair. All right. So far, I will say these drills are amazing. They are amazing. You know, some people have a have a love-hate relationship with Diamond Art Club. Some people absolutely love him. Some absolutely hate him. But they make a really good diamond painting. <laughs> but I will say, though, that, like, considering um, Calming Canvas Designs is a newer company, 
I was blown away by the quality of their canvas. The glue was like the perfect level of sticky. The drills, I mean, I had a lot of trash, but I did not run out of anything. Um, so for it being my first time ordering from their company and I've never really heard anything about them, like I, yes, I would definitely order more for sure. And if you want to order anything, I do have an affiliate link in the description box. There is a coupon code, but you know, if things are on sale, use the best code you can. Okay, I cannot see any more of the G, but there's probably our Gs. So, but I can't see them with the way the light is reflecting and the, the diamonds are so sparkly with my side window. Like, you can see. Like that's all window reflection. So they are amazing. If Diamond Art Club, like I think somebody said, or they posted something that said that they were maybe gonna like sell their own diamonds. Like if I was doing a conversion project, I would definitely consider buying their diamonds. Okay, I that is a, that's a rogue diamond. Just throw it in the tray. That's the one nice thing about the Elizabeth Ward trays. Is that if you have like a diamond and you just chuck it in there and it just, you know, hangs out until you decide to clean out the tray. Um, that is, oof, that is, reflection is like blinding me. They are so, so, so sparkly. Okay, move that move this stuff off from over here so that they don't do that. So I hope everybody is adjusting to the time change. If you're in America and you're in one of the America places that, you know, does the time change. Usually I'm, eh, it's not my favorite, but like, it's not life ending, right? But my problem is I have a hard time falling asleep as is. So when you make it so I have to go to bed earlier or later than my normal, you know, difficult time to fall asleep. Yeah, it's, it's not my favorite. And our cats don't understand time changes. And so last night they were I, I, you know, I fed that I normally feed them around eight o'clock at night. They're, you know, they're dinner. And because eight o'clock is technically seven o'clock. So they were all confused as to why I was feeding them, you know, early. The one cat, Sharky, he does not care. He's like, oh, heck yeah, mom. Plop it down. I'll eat it. And the other one was like, mm, I'll just, you know, come back and, and eat this four hours later. But then they had like a burst of energy and they had the zoomies and they're like running up and down the stairs running up and down the stairs and then they ran under our bed and I was trying to go to sleep because you know lots of people do at night they sleep and I don't know if they were fighting or what but one of them must have grabbed the other one and the other one jumped up but you know we have a, a sleep number bed and so the the bed frame is metal because it moves up and down and whoever, whichever cat jumped, it hit the underside of the bed so hard that my whole pillow and like the whole bed frame just shook. And it actually knocked my phone off of the, the charging mat thingy. I was like, what are you two doing? My gosh. Like, I just, ugh. So then they were just zooming, 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 zooming. I'm like, you people are done. Like, I wish I, you know, I love it when my cats sleep with me at night because, you know, they're warm and cuddly and they give me, you know, a little bit of extra warmth. But when they're naughty, that's when I wish I would have been one of those people that is smart and, you know, like puts their cat in a separate room for the night. Because, or like, I know something I read I saw this Facebook page and it was saying like that you're supposed to you know you're supposed to close your bedroom door at night in case there's a fire and you know people are like oh my gosh I didn't know this and then you know there's other people who are like um I have animals 
So I can't really just close my door, otherwise I'd be in and out of my bedroom, you know, 10 times a night. And then other people are like, um, I have kids, so if they get up in the middle of the night and they leave my door open, you know, then, then what am I supposed to do? And I think for me, like, I don't feel safe with my door closed because I need to be able to hear what's going on in the house, right? Like if somebody's breaking in downstairs, I need to know if I need to arm myself to, you know, protect my family or, you know, whatever. Um, but also if like, you know, the cats do something or if, you know, one of my kids wakes up in the middle of the night, I need to be able to hear them. And I don't think either one of my kids wants me to put a baby monitor in their room uh, because they're past baby monitor age. So if one of them wakes up and my door is closed and their door is closed and they need help, but, you know, I can't hear that they need help, then I'm like, no, that's, yeah, no, sorry. I see the, the validity of it, but, uh, yeah, it is a no-go. I am missing, oh, that one has a tab. I do have a little trash drill tray, but it's way over there. So we're just gonna throw it in the tray. I'll clean it out when I'm done. That's fine. And I do still have some Pippi the Crafty Peep stickers. Yeah. So if you are interested, there is a Google Doc in the description box. And there's just a few questions with the address. Please write it exactly how I need to write it because I am am address addressedly challenged um and i will i will address it wrong if i'm left to my own devices for sure and i read an article while i was sitting in my car because i had to wait you know a half hour late and I don't know, maybe I just, maybe I'm just getting old. What color? Like, what am I even doing? And it was an article and they were saying that they're remaking the movie, uh, Don't Tell Mom the Babysitter's Dead. And I'm like, what? No, 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 no. I remember seeing that in the theater as a kid. And I really liked Christina Applegate because I liked watching her on Married with Children. And so I was like, yes, I love her. We're going to go see her in the theater. Um, and I mean, yeah, the movie's, it's not a cinematic masterpiece by any means. And could that really happen? Like, probably not. But, you know, as a, as a young kid, it was like, ha ha, it's so funny. Um, just, I just like so many of the, like the one-liners. I'm right on top of that, Rose. And just the way she like completely lies on her application and just like the fact that nobody realized she's a she's like a high school kid like come on really come on <laughs> but I'm like okay so if they remake that how would they even remake that for today because like back then in the 90s like you could totally get away with you know your babysitter you know like the old lady babysitter like being dead and dying um or whatever like you could totally lie to your parents and whatever but like we live in a digital age so I don't see how that would actually work and it did not say that Christina Applegate was going to be in the movie and I'm like how would you even redo that movie without her I just I don't know that seems like blasphemy like no thank you nope that is just rude I mean that'd be like trying to redo Married with Children without like, you know, Al and Peggy. Like, you couldn't freaking do it. No. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh. I am dropping things all over the place today. And I keep sticking my arm right there, and I know better. So, let me get... Oh, I remember why I... Like, the only saving grace of this kit is the fact that these drills are, are fitting together and lining up so nicely. Otherwise, I don't know if I could have done it because if these drills were crappy with all this brown, 
I don't know. I don't know if I could do it. I really don't. That's why I think I would take breaks and then work on something colorful and then come back to it. But this was pretty much, besides my conversion projects, one of the only ones that I felt like I could work on. Um, because like I said, the, the Pam diamond painting one, uh, I haven't unboxed it yet. So I was like, I don't really want to, I mean, I try to, you know, unbox things and then not work on them until they've gone up. But does it really matter? Probably not. But still. In my brain, it makes sense, guys. So. Let's see. I just can't believe it's already the middle of March. Like, how? How is it the middle of March already? I don't understand. I'm so confused. It doesn't make any sense at all. I still feel like it's January. And some of you are probably like, oh my gosh, no. I <laughs> must not go back to that month. Um, but it is, it is crazy for sure. And I did take my taxes in and I haven't gotten any calls from my tax guy saying you forgot something. So maybe I actually turned it all in the first time. Go figure. I think I've done that one other time before, but every other year I forget something. <laughs> I'm like, I just, I just assume that I forget something. It's part of my charm. I just tell him that's because he just wants me to come back because he misses me so much. <laughs> He's like, yeah, that's it. Like, see, I knew it. Oh, the mail lady just came. Oh. I'm too scared to go get our mail, though, so I'll just <laughs> wait for my husband to do it tomorrow because we live off of a busy road, and it is a little scary to stand at the mailbox and try to unlock it to get the mail out, so... He is far braver than I am. I will just let the mail sit there for a few days until I muster up the courage to do it. Like, no. Do I want the stuff that's in the mail? Oh, I may actually have a package in the mail, though. Oh, but it's raining. Oh. Man, how bad do I want a package, though? Oh, man. Decisions, decisions. I'll probably go get it realistically. <laughs> I love packages. Although I did, I got my mom a pair of boots from Amazon and they didn't fit and they got put in the office and then they got buried and then I forgot about them. And then I was like, oh my gosh, we have to take those back still. Cause like we can take them back to Kohl's the Kohl's by us takes Amazon packages. And so it was just like, you know, a case of like, just take the stupid box back to Kohl's. Yeah, I waited too long. So now I have a pair of, <laughs> of boots that uh, don't fit anybody in the house. I'm like, well, that's stupid. <laughs> I mean, it wasn't like, they weren't like overly expensive, but you know, it's just, it's the principle of the thing, so. I figure I can find somebody who maybe needs a, you know, a pair of, you know, furry black fake Ugg boots and yeah. So, moral of the story, don't hold on to your returns and say, I'll do it later, I'll do it later. Cause chances are you're not gonna do it later. You're gonna forget. And then you're gonna be out $40. So don't forget to enter the, the Pippi Papers giveaway on my other video. Enter the secret word into a comment. Use it in a sentence, please. So if there are, you know, mean people who just want to, you know, enter giveaways and steal prizes from people who actually, you know, watch the videos, then we want to try and avoid that if at all possible. And then next week, I think... 
probably Wednesday, but depending on, you know, how things go, um, I will have a video, a whip and chat, and the winners will will be announced. I gotta figure out how to do the, the random comment picker YouTube thing, because I honestly don't even know how to do that. So that's on the to-do list, as well as a multitude of other things. And if you have not liked and subscribed and shared and done all the things, please consider doing so. I have a Facebook group as well where people share pictures of their whips, funny pictures, you know, uh, asking for advice, etc., etc. It's a great group of supportive peoples. And anything else. I'm sure there's something else. I'm just not thinking of it. Uh, but our time is almost up. So let me looky-daisies over my little piece of paper to kind of make sure that I maybe got everything I needed to say. Let's see. Shake those up. I think that's about as much infoing as is going to happen. Oops, I'm getting sloppy, so that's how we know it's time to go. So, I will see you guys all again very, very soon. I hope you all continue to have an amazing day and get to do something fun. You know, in between maybe doing unfun things. And until next time... Big awkward hugs. Bye, guys.